Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve another important problem from module five, group theory, which may ask in video examination. So the question is, show that there are two parts. First part is the identity of G is unique, and second part is the inverse of each element of G is unique. So now we go for first part. The identity of G is unique. So here assume there are two identity elements in G. We can say A and A dash. So by the definition of identity, for any A belongs to G, we have E asterisk A which is equal to A and E dash asterisk A which is equal to A. So now consider now consider e asterisk e dash which is equal to e dash here e is identity like that e asterisk e dash equals to e where e dash is identity so you can clearly see that e equals to e dash Hence the element is unique. So now go for second part. Now go for second part. The inverse of each element of G is unique. So let A belongs to G. Suppose a has two inverse which is B. Suppose A has two inverse which is B and C. So by the definition of inverse, A asterisk B which is equal to B asterisk A equal to A. In second part, A asterisk C equals to C asterisk A equal to A because here we consider two inverse of A, B and C. So now prove B equal to C. Then we prove that this is the inverse of each element. Now prove B equal to C. Start with with B equal to B into E. Since E is identity. So what is the value of E? E equal to A asterisk C. So like that B asterisk A asterisk C A asterisk C equals to E here. Equal to B asterisk A asterisk C by associative property. So here what is the value of B asterisk C? Which is equal to E. E asterisk C. Since B asterisk A equal to E. So in place of B asterisk A we put E. So what is the E? So it is nothing but bunch of C. Since E is identity. So B equal to C. Hence inverse is unique for each element in this group. Hence proof. Thank you.